Shalom and Shalom brothers. So this is going to be a little new mini series that I'm going to be doing titled So Called Black Man or So Called Black Woman. And in these videos, I'm going to pick out a historical individual and we're going to go into more detail on said historical individual. Now these videos we're going to make we're going to mainly focus on any art, sculptures, relics, sculptures, monuments, statues, frescoes, paintings of said individual, the real historical images of these individuals that I pick out, and any historical reference to their skin complexion and how they looked. Now, I may go into more detail on like where they were born, where they died, and um, when they died, what they were famous for, what they pioneered in history, what they invented, so on and so forth depending how I feel and if it's relevant to the topic. But in, in the so-called black man, so-called black woman series, we are mainly going to focus on any historical art depictions that we find of them and any historical reference to their skin complexion and how they look. That's going to be the main focus on this. So with all of that being said, please subscribe and like the video so, can, so they can help hit the algorithm and let's just get straight into it. So brothers, this is an eyewitness account from one of the chicks Beethoven was dealing with, Miss Fischer or Frau Fischer in the German. So we're going to read what she has to say. At 13, Spangy blossomed out into the precious dignity of the court organist. Through Frau Fischer's eyes, we see him dressed up for a function at the castle in sea green tail coat, a flowered waistcoat of white stained, green knee breeches with buckles, white silk stockings, black rosetted shoes with his crush hat under his arm, his dagger at his side and crowned with curls and a pigtail of real hair. So here we go. Here's the punchline. This is her description of the boy himself, short, stocky, broad shoulders, short neck, thick head, round nose, blackish brown complexion. We're going to read that again. Short, stocky, broad shoulders, short neck, thick head, round nose, blackish brown complexion. So brothers, Paul Becker was one of the most influential and most articulate German mu music critics of the 20th century. So we're going to read what he has to say about Beethoven. So it reads, Paul Becker, another very noted authority on Beethoven, says that the most faithful picture of Beethoven's head shows him with wide, thick-lipped mouth, short, thick nose, and proudly arched forehead. Doesn't that match up with what um, Frau Fischer just um, Frau Fischer just said about his thick head, thick lips, and broad shoulders? Now this is the death mask of Ludwig von Beethoven. Take a good look at it and tell me what you see. I'm gonna leave it on the screen for a couple of seconds. Here are some more references to the, complex, to the complexion of Ludwig van Beethoven. So number one at the top, Frederick Hertz, German anthropologist in Race and Civilization, refers to Beethoven's Negroid traits and his dark skin and flat, thick nose. Number two, Frau Fischer. Now we just read this one. An intimate acquaintance of Beethoven describes in thus short, Stocky, broad shoulders, short neck, round nose, blackish brown complexion. Number three, now this is about Hayden, or aka Beethoven's teacher, who was also a so called black man. So it reads In speaking of the immortal Hayden, who was Beethoven's teacher, Andre de Hevesy says, Everybody knows the incident at Kiss Martin or Isendot. The residence of Prince Esterhazy, in the middle of the first allegro of Hayden Symphony, His Highness asks the name of the author. 
he was brought forward. What exclaimed the prince? The music is by this Blackamoor. Well, my fine Blackamoor, henceforward thou art in my service. Now, for those who don't know, Blackamoor is just saying a so-called black man. And you guys can go watch my videos, type in um, Blackamoor jewellery is not racist, aka Black Lives Matter versus the Moors. I did a um, two-part um, video, two videos on that. Number four, Karpani, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, who originally related this, says that Hayden's complexion gave room for the sarcasm and that Hayden had the title of second professor of music by his new comrades, called him the more. Now, last but not least, referring to the incident, referring to the above incident, Alexander W. Thayer, perhaps the foremost authority on Beethoven says, Beethoven had even more of the more in his features than his master, Hayden. Beit, um, more was meant Negro until recent time. The German for uh, Negro was more spelled M O H R. So watch out when people tell you that uh, more means those like Caucasoid Turkish people. They just took on that identity. That's all that is. More was originally referenced to so called black people. And it still is. Here's another reference to Beethoven. As for the debate over Beethoven's facial features, such as, I probably mispronounced that, says, certainly Beethoven's dark complexion was frequently commented on. At school in Bonn, he was nicknamed the Spaniard. Why? Because the Spaniards are originally so-called black. And if you frequent my videos, you guys should know where I'm about to go with this. Benjamin Franklin's letter called Observation Concerning the Increase of Mankind. Now you already know we had to bring this out once more. Now we're going to see how um, Benjamin Franklin this, um, described the Spaniards because as we just read Beethoven was um, referenced as a Spaniard so here we go starting from 24 which leads me to add one remark that the number of purely white people is proportionally very small all of Africa is black or tawny Asia chiefly tawny America exclusive of the newcomers holy soul so here we go here's the punchline and in Europe the Spaniards, once again, and in Europe, the Spaniards, the Italians, French, Russians, and Swedes are generally of what we call a suave complexion. Suave meaning so-called black, suave meaning dark in complexion. And don't worry, I'm going to do a future video on the meaning of words and how they reference so-called black people. But you already know we have to bring this letter out once more as I'm going to use it in other future videos. Hopefully this was an edifying lesson for you brothers and sisters. Giving all praises to the Most High Yahweh and giving acknowledgement to Hamashiach Yahweh Shai.